This video is sponsored by NordVPN. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to surf the internet without a trace. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna share five hidden features on your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. I like to share as much information as possible so you can enhance the use of your smartphone. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now the very first hidden feature has to do with your S Pen. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So normally when you launch a browser or your text messages or anything where you have to type something, uh, the keyboard just pops up automatically and you can type anything that you want. Now, if you have the S Pen outside of your phone, there's a different way to get this done as well, to write on the actual keyboard using the S Pen. So here's my S Pen right here. I'm gonna go to my messages, all right? I'm gonna tap on the text area. And as you can see, instead of giving me the keyboard, it actually gave me a text area automatically into which I can write using my actual S Pen. So that is by default. And this has such accurate handwriting detection that it's amazing. So I can write, nasty handwriting and it's going to convert that immediately to actual text all right uh, let me just show you one more time let, let me write very badly so how are you take a look at that nasty writing and it's going to convert that directly into its text counterpart so that's amazing handwriting detection and of course a lot of people write much better than that you're going to get great results every single time and of course, you can do this in any field, okay? So if I go to go over here, I already had the keyboard over here, but if I were to go to any website just to reset the keyboard, and again, if I tap it like this, it's going to know that I have my S Pen, it's gonna bring this up. Now, how to enable this feature? So all you do is let me put the S Pen behind, and by the way, anytime you wanna use the keyboard, uh, even if you have the S Pen detection enabled, you just tap on this one, you go right back to keyboard. So to access that, access that setting and enable this feature, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the settings of your keyboard from here. Now you may or you may not see these all the time. If you don't see the settings icon here, you just tap this button, it's gonna reverse the settings versus the uh, auto fill option here. So you tap on this one, goes to the settings. If you still don't see the settings there, you tap over here, it should be right here. But you click on the settings and all you do is enable the pen detection feature. And as you can see, once you do that, it says show the handwriting pad when the S Pen is detected, all right? So that's hidden feature number one. Let's move on to number two. Now number two has to do with your lock screen. So let me lock the phone. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's lock the screen. Let me double tap to wake up the phone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and hold on the fingerprint sensor, okay? So I'm not gonna just go like this. If you do this, it just logs right in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and hold. So if you press and hold, let me just double tap, you can see it. So press and hold. Don't let go, boom, you get access to two app shortcuts. This is known as the floating icon, and then if you wanna launch any one of these applications, you can just swipe over to it, and boom, it's gonna launch the calculator right away. So to enable this feature, it is turned off by default. You go to the settings, all right? Then you go to your lock screen, then you scroll down to where it says app shortcuts. You tap on the app shortcuts, and normally it's like this. It's gonna be the button corner, so if I have this enabled, when you double tap, you'll see the icons right here. So if you wanna hide those icons, you go to the floating button, all right? And then you can customize what app you wanna see on the left and the right. So on the left, I can have the Best Buy, and on the right, I can have uh, the calculator. So now when I lock the screen from here, and if I double tap, and if I press and hold, it's going to launch those two applications. Don't let go until you swipe over and launch the application that you wanna use. All right, so let's move on to the next tactic. All right, the next feature has to do with your gallery application. So if you launch your gallery application and if you just bring up any photo that you want, with every single photo, what you can do is you can swipe up and that's gonna give you even more details regarding your photo. Now, one of the biggest things here, of course, you have all this information here, but you also get the location information of a particular photo. So if somebody sent you a photo, or if you send a photo to somebody, they can also swipe up on that given photo and bring up the exact location where that photo was taken. It's a great way to remember where you took a particular photo. If you click on this, it's going to take you to Google Maps, and also you can navigate to that place as well. Now this could be a security concern as well because when you take any photo, it saves the location information inside that photo. 
Now, if I were to share this photo with somebody else and they do the same thing under the Galaxy smartphone, they are going to see the location information as well. Now, that's something you might want to hide. Now, real quick, just an addendum to this tip. If you go to your camera and if you go to the camera settings, all right, what you want to do is if you don't want the location information being saved inside your photo so anybody can access it, you want to go up here and you want to make sure location tags are disabled. So when you take a photo with the location tags disabled, it's not going to give you this information. It's going to show up blank. Let me show you one example. So I got a photo right here. I go into the photo and if I pull up, this one did not have location enabled, so nobody can see the location information. Fantastic. Let's move on to the next tactic. The next thing I want to talk about has to do with Bixby, and a lot of people do not use Bixby. But what I like with Bixby is I can use it to restart my phone. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I set up my Bixby so it responds to my voice. So I'm going to say, hi Bixby, restart my phone. Are you ready to restart your phone? Yes. So as you can see, without pressing any buttons, just by using my voice, I was able to, in fact, restart my phone. Now to do this, you don't really have to do anything. As long as you have set up the high Bixby command to go on, when you say it, it's going to allow you to give this command of restarting your phone. So we are back in business. So for those of you who do not know how to access this setting, let me show you. Hi Bixby. So when this comes up, you just swipe up to see more information, all right? And it's gonna go into this uh, particular home screen that's different from the other one. So if you swipe over here, it goes to a Bixby home. But when you say, hi Bixby, and you swipe up, it takes you to a different menu. And to access this menu, you can also use the Bixby button. So you go to the settings, all right? And from here, you want to enable voice wake up feature. Just tap on it. It's going to walk you through on how to set up the high Bixby option. So every time you say it, it's going to launch the Bixby. All right, let's move on to the next tactic. The final hidden feature is in your accessibility. So let's go to the settings. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if you scroll all the way down, go to accessibility. What you want to do is you want to go to interaction and dexterity. You tap on it. And on the top, what you have is you have something known as the assistant menu. When you enable this, it's going to give you a menu you can put anywhere on the screen. When you tap it, it gives you access to all kinds of different options, all right? So here's the menu right here. Let me tap it. Let me put it right over here. Tap on it. So I have the recents, home, and back key that replicate these at the bottom. I can turn off the screen from here if that's what you like, all right? And then also other options I have. I can take a screenshot using this menu. Fantastic. I can tap it again, swipe over, and I can even bring down the notifications panel by tapping this thing. So that's all great, okay? Now with this menu real quick, if I go back here to accessibility, uh, when you go to interaction and dexterity, it's right here. You can also do a lot of other things. You can even increase and decrease the transparency, as you can see. So it can be very visible or not so visible, all right? But it can be on the screen at all times for quick access to a lot of things just by using the software key. And of course, you can, in fact, tap on the assistant menu options and actually modify the entire menu. You can add more things or remove stuff you don't want. So as you can see, I just changed it up a little bit, all right? Absolutely fantastic. And that was the final feature. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? So real quick, guys, I know we love the internet, but everything that you're doing online is basically being tracked by everyone, including your service provider. Now with NordVPN, your location and your connection can be completely hidden and secured under a military grade encryption, so you can surf the internet without a trace, no matter where you are, whether that's your home or in a public location. So if you do care about your privacy and your security, grab NordVPN. It's so secure, it even allows you to trick the system by making it look like you're surfing the web from another country while you could be sitting in the United States so you become untraceable and hack proof. Now if you go to nordvpn.com slash org slash Saki Tech, what you're getting is 70% off plus you get one month free and of course you get nothing to lose because you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So make sure to use the link nordvpn.org slash Tech, which is also linked down below. It's time to become untraceable.